Hello there everyone and welcome back to Napoleon Total War or Napoleon Total War 3 I should say and this Russian campaign. Last time around we beat the French or a French army right about here. Remnants of it which can be seen way over here. I believe this is the remnants or maybe there was no remnants. I think some units managed to get away. But we mostly destroyed it, so it's no threat anymore. Anyways, we need to clear the bridge, or really this area, so that Kutuzov and uh, Kamensky can move down and actually make the main attack on the capital. So we need to attack this army here. And it's a really strong one. There's a bridge right here, so it could be a bridge battle. Good cannons, old guard units. Very difficult. We're gonna lead with Bennington, although I don't think he actually has... He might not actually have the movement range... ...to perform the attack. Although it seemed he did. So the enemy... We're outnumbering him slightly. By about a thousand men. But he's got so many elite units here. Old guard cannons. Carabiniers. Guards. To a lot of it. And then two old guard units. Those guys are going to be hard to deal with. And I'm not entirely sure how. But uh, we'll figure it out. With that said, let's draw into battle with the French. And defeat them and clear the way for Kutuzov to attack Munich. And seize all of Bavaria. I definitely have to wait for reinforcements before I go ahead and launch my attack. At the current moment, the French outnumber us by about a thousand men. And that's a thousand really good men. So, we should avoid fighting them right now, before the reinforcement army has come in to aid us. So it's gonna be... Uh... Oh, did I take out... Nice! I took out one of the howitzers right at the start, and it's now retreating. I was worried about the enemy's artillery, but right now I cannot see exactly where they are. Where have they placed them? I'm not sure where they are. But this uh, just... This is going to work out fine for me right now, because the enemy is not really moving quickly to attack us. Which means that I'm just going to sit there and shoot at them until my reinforcements has arrived. So unless the enemy makes a move against me, I'll just uh, fast forward through this. And once uh, the army is ready to attack, we will attack. My army has moved into position and it seems that the enemy um, has figured that out as well. The sending cavalry, I set the grenadier brigade to move into square, but they seem like the carabiniers have a different target. They're getting hit hard as they ride past the line. I guess I tricked them there a little bit because they were going for the infantry. But when we dropped the squares for the grenadiers, they decided to attack them instead. And the fact that we were able to cut down the entire unit of carabiniers like that is a huge boost to my army because that is a very dangerous unit. We haven't really been able to fire at anything with the cannons. But now I think uh, we're ready to commence our attack. So I got three brigades. We got grenadiers. 
light and the infantry one, or the musketeer one. And they're going to be joined by the six pounder horse artillery. It'd be drawn up really close to where we're going to fight. I need to avoid that. So I guess we need to move the line a bit that way. But we'll see. We'll start off by marching the units forward. I'm gonna have the cannons close by. And we got the dragoons. And then we've got the generals falling in after. So far I haven't been able to see where the old guard units are. Which has me a little bit concerned. Also the old guard uh, cannons hasn't been seen either. But I guess we'll figure that out soon enough as we are attacking here. Oh, cannons spotted. They're, uh, I'm not sure if they're moving away or if they're unlimbering, and here's the old guard as well. Where would I... We would need canister in that area. We'll see about waking them up. I'll set canister here. I should be able to fire up towards the ridge if necessary. The Grenadiers will then move slightly. And then I guess we split the lights to either side of the cannon. And then the infantry over here. Backed up by the cavalry. And then the general, main general, moving to the bushes over here. And we've got Hussars moving in the back. Setting up here to attack the enemy from the back. I'm not entirely sure if they deploy the cannons or if they were just moving them around a little bit. Guess they were just moving them around a little bit. The enemy is giving me a lot of time to set up for a good attack. But even with this setup, it's going to be difficult. It's not a super great position because we're setting up the cannons quite low. But canister, the canister can fire up about to there. Um, where am I? Where am I going to start the attack? They still have pretty good cavalry. I guess we start the attack by going on the right. Really, this musketeer unit shouldn't really be anchoring that side because it's so weak. We're going to start the attack from over here towards this unit. Not a lot of room here. Let's have the Grenadiers move even more to this side. What I can do is set them up in the forest. And that allow me to make longer lines with the light infantry. I think we're ready. We'll march forward. General close by. Cavalry in support. Cannons should hold fire because, I mean, the shots, they're not even firing like 10 meters in front of them. Oh, the enemy is opening fire. We'll have two stand in the open firing while the bigger unit will move through the cover of the forest to shoot at them. I'm hoping we can get some kind of a trigger going on here and here. We'll open up for my cavalry to kind of sweep in. We're not really ready for a full-on charge. 
A lot of these units have lost a lot of manpower. Don't think it's really going in our favor to start off with. But once this one opens up for its flank position, I think we could be able to drive this one off. I'm surprised the army hasn't woken up yet. Given the amount of firepower I'm laying down upon them. It could be that once this one gets shot down, the rest of them will, as it were, wake up. They're taking heavy casualties over on their left flank. And it would allow us to continue the attack onwards to the reserve Bavarians. And, fur and further still. I imagine that they gain quite a boost by the fact that the old guard is there. It's close by. They ho they hold. I don't want to charge them because that could go really bad. So we want to shoot them now. Oh, I'm losing quite a lot of troops. If it's going to continue like this, it's not going to go well. Okay, we broke them. Let's see if we can't wake these guys up. We're going to push forward and we're going to push forward there. We're going to move quickly. I want to just kind of wake them up and then have them move on us. Got cavalry now woken up. This one fired straight up into the sky. Where are they going? Oh! It's a Bavarian reserve line. But it's causing quite the trouble among my veteran musketeers. Which I'm quite surprised. At the same time, the Grenadier hold the line against the uh, Guard Chasseur. Which make a god awful charge against us. Still, the enemy does not really wake up, as uh, as I put it. We're gonna push back. This unit suffered heavy casualties. It's gonna be have to move to reserve. Let's see if they wake up. Hmm. Doesn't seem as though they are. Sometimes this happens. And sometimes it don't. I guess it's good that it happens against an army that I would probably have quite the difficulty in defeating. It feels stra it would feel very strange to try and charge the old guard. And the enemy army is still strong. What's going on here? I wanna I wanna break them over here, but it looks like is it it's just one unit. But them Bavarian Chevaliers, as I recall, was pretty good unit. And then we have these guys. So two infantry units. Maybe I'm too scared of the old guard. Maybe I'm too scared. There's one enemy unit in the front. And then we have a cluster of units over here. What if I move, break these, move the cannons up, set them up up here? Have my grenadiers advance through there, joined by a flank action of two units out of the light brigade, a center attack. Um, I'll move this one somewhere in reserve. Then these join in with these. 
making a large center push. And uh, we'll see where I'm be able to push the push the cannons up to. We're really close up here somewhere. Hopefully. And then maybe completely avoiding these guys by having the cavalry instead moving to smash through here. The battle is going on forever, but it's just because I'm trying to be really careful not to lose the army. And it really helps that the enemy is not really attacking. Right, send in the main attack. And then these will walk into position. Okay, the enemy is woken up. They're actually heading straight for us. Halt! Can I get the cannons to set up over there? Send a unit to support. Generals close by. We got one of the old guard units coming. S oh, they're charging us straight on towards the Jaeger units. That's not good. That's not good at all. Set up the cannons and switch to canister. I'm slightly unnerving the old guard units. I don't like the fact that they're uh, charging in at my light units. That's not going to hold, but I want to hold long enough for the cannons to set up. The cannons have set up. Light units retreat. I'm going to order shots to be fired. Keep running, lights. Can I get canister already? Go on. Oh, I almost oh, shot my own general there. The canister flew through. The old guard was broken. There's another unit coming in over there. The Grenadier's fighting hard over there. I'm gonna send you up to block and then you be set up to shoot them. Straight in the back. Stop that unit. But I want you to fire the canister over in that flank. To break the... Come on. Follow them. This battle was a mess just because the enemy... AI really doesn't want to play with me. Well, cannons will hold fire. The gold guard was broken over there. Probably would have worked if they didn't send them out one by one. Didn't I tell you to hold fire? Well, this battle was a mess. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. I'm not sure how glorious it is when the enemy refuses to fight me. It's a sad show where the old guard was beaten like that. Enemy cannons goes down. I was so worried about this battle, and then it turned out that the uh, the entire battle was a sham because the enemy does not even fight me. It saves a lot of my troops, though, and has a lot more French troops that needs uh, to be displaced here. Turn them in on the flank. The en enemy just intends to hold their position. The 
get absolutely destroyed in the process. Now they're kinda waking up. Bomb square in the flanks. But otherwise, hold the lines. Trying their best to charge us over here. It's not going to work out for them. The enemy army is destroyed. Quite heavy fighting over here. Let's inspire this unit. To fight on. We have a small square of Bavarian troops, but otherwise, most of the French troops are now running. Drop the squares. Grenadier Brigade. Light. And then infantry. As soon as these start to maneuver, we'll hit them with the cavalry. The generals to move forward in the hussars. Follow up on the flank. Even if we're attacked here, kind of out of formation, it doesn't. Ma oh, hey, he's moving now. And then we'll just sweep through it. So they're caught in their charge. Looks like they're just about to form square. They were able to form square. Just punch through and go to the next unit. Let's have the Hazars start chasing down loads of these. Yep, the square was broken. And we're running next to the next unit. Which is the uh, the unit from the Netherlands. And the entire army is on the march. Forwards. Kind of a shame that the AI screw this one up so badly. Could have been an interesting battle. It definitely was bloody. It would have uh, been a lot more bloody if uh, the AI had been uh, competent in fighting this. It was really close to being... Um, it was almost... No, this was no. There was the other one that was almost close enough to be played as a drop-in. This one was quite clearly in favour of the enemy. I think the enemy general retreats off the field, and we are victorious because there's no one left. And we got the brigades moving forward. Lots of dead enemies. Especially here, they just stood. For some reason, they didn't drop, kind of, or they didn't wake up, as I said, too many times at this point. But when they did, even when they, uh, like that charge of the uh, old guard, if it weren't for the canister I set up, could have gone really bad. Here, a big cluster of canister just shot into that. The fact that my grenadiers held here and the old guards were shot in the back and killed. And here they weren't really... They were able to contact us. Quite a lot of dead light infantry, but yeah. Victory. Let's move on to Munich, shall we? And here's the result of the battle. We deployed about a thousand men more than the enemy, 4,500 against 3,300 of the enemy. 
Um, we lost 711 compared to 2,800 of the enemy. We uh, almost killed more of our own. Grenadiers. Getting loads of kills. Not entirely sure where the positioning were of these. This Jaeger unit lost 11 men. Killed 217. Gorky 17. Um, cannon. 126. I thought it would get more, but some of those canisters, I guess, wasn't too well placed and too spread out. It is a six pounder after all. If those were 12 pounders, we'd probably see double the casualties. French army wasn't entirely destroyed. It retreats towards Napoleon. We're out of uh, movement range here. But we're able to set up now to uh, attack here. I wonder if this one... This one shouldn't be able to intercept at this point, I don't think. I don't think these guys will intercept us as we cross the bridge either. There we have it. <laughs> he got stuck right there within a step. Lots of smaller armies will join in here. Um, I Oh, I will get Buxhovden joining in here as well. So I'll get a, to a total of 10,000 men against an army uh, of uh, about a little more than... 4,000 French. A lot of it is reinforcement, so... That will not count for much. Well, actually, it's about... It's almost 5,000. Two against one. Given the time of the episode, though... I think we'll end it here. And in next episode, we'll have the final attack, which we take the province... And we'll get the depot. That's why I avoided attacking the depot this time around in my attack. So we get the replenishment. Um, I'm not going to give Bohemia back to the Austrians just yet. Because I'm building up a supply depot to the highest level there. And that's about three turns away. But after that's done, I will give it back. I also kind of want to avoid giving it back because, of course, I am receiving tax revenue from that area. I imagine that I could make up for the loss of Bohemia by looting a Bavaria and uh, getting a load of cash from that instead. But we'll see. So for next one, we'll have this battle. Should be no problem. A lot of their reinforcements already broken up, and cannons usually just set up at the corners of the map. Try to fire from there, which is god awful. Um, the thing that could be an upset here would be all the heavy cavalry in the French army. So, cuirassiers, dragoons, that plus the cannons. Hopefully, though, when I play this battle, they'll not be asleep. And they'll actually uh, move. Um, so that'll be interesting. I said, mmm, quite a few times. Yes. With that said, though, I'll say as I always say. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.
General is under attack. 